super excited to film this video because now that the global pandemic is long standing here in America, I am having to wear a mask every single time I leave the house if I'm going into an establishment. So having to do that multiple times a week, sometimes for like an hour on end, it has really done a number on my pores and my skin. I have what I'd like to call mask knee, and that's when you get clogged pores or acne or blemishes from wearing your mask for long periods of time. Now when I'm not normally wearing a mask, I deal with my fair share of acne as an actual medical condition, not just like a breakout here and there, I actually have acne. So I was used to acne I really just wasn't used to breaking out like in the same area all the time I also wasn't used to it happening every week and then every time I treat it it comes back so I've recently purchased a few new products as well I started to incorporate some other products that I've been using in my arsenal for years and today I'm going to be sharing all the products that have kind of helped me to remedy my mask knee and my clogged pores and my blemishes and all that really this is just my pore cleansing routine to get the deepest clean of my pores that I can get and this is what's really been helping my skin and turning it all around so if you'd like to see the products that I'm using please keep watching okay guys so I'm gonna go in the general routine that I would be going in if I were to actually wash my face so the first item I'm gonna share with you today is my Josie Marin pineapple enzyme pore clearing cleanser I've been using this product for maybe three or so weeks now and I am obsessed. <laughs> my friend's mother actually started using this first and she recommended it to my friend and then my friend recommended it to me. And I try a lot of cleansers. I'm somebody that I have a kind of like a cap of where I like to go in terms of budget wise for different skincare items. And a cleanser is on the lower end side of that because my philosophy is if I'm rinsing it off, I shouldn't be spending like 60 bucks on a cleanser. So because of that, I try lots of cleansers pretty much a couple times a year I will try out a different cleanser and this is probably my favorite one for the spring and summer when I tell you that this makes your pores feel so clean without having your face feel like it's stripped it's really weird because if you can see the texture it's like a viscous gel so it's not too I mean it's a thick type of liquid but it's not as thick and viscous as like a balm or a gel cleanser so it's an interesting formula it does get foamy if you keep like rubbing it into your skin so it does get foamy but something about it it's just amazing it's very very lightweight but it has a really nice texture and it really gives you a deep cleanse i really feel like this has helped to significantly clear my pores i just love how lightweight it is it makes my skin feel so just clean like you will definitely feel the difference with this so I think this is what I'm going to continue using in the spring and summer even when the global pandemic is over and I'm not wearing a mask because this gives you a really nice refreshing feel to your face okay next I'm gonna share with you a toner and it's so interesting because I am not someone who traditionally uses a toner day to day. I am of the thought process that toners really don't make too much of a difference. Uh, I do have toners that have chemical exfoliants in them so they, you know, they do their job but I'm not someone who feels like, oh my goodness, every day I have to use a toner. I just don't think toners do that that much. Well. Then I picked this up. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner for hydrating and pore refining. I purchased this when I purchased the Josie Marin Cleanser and I've seen Glow Recipe on Sephora's website for at least like a year and a half and their watermelon line is really popular but it just seems so gimmicky to me and you guys know that once I stopped like shopping shopping I really just let go of buying things that are really gimmicky and super super new and innovative unless I just felt like it was really worth it well let me tell you this toner does something it's the BHA and the PHA which are two um, they're like exfoliant PHA and BHA are much like salicylic acid so they work to get into your pores and push impurities out salicylic acid is great at treating acne now I tend to not use a salicylic acid because I feel it's a little too harsh so more often than not and I'm gonna show you a product like that. I use a benzoyl peroxide. I just feel, is that what it's called? Benzoyl peroxide? Yes. <laughs> I just use that because I think that ingredient
ingredient works a little better with my skin. So basically this has ingredients that are going to dig deeply into your pores and push impurities out. Now, if you can see, this is a more viscous type of toner. It's a thicker consistency than just a liquid. It has an amazing smell. It smells just like watermelon. But this, it just makes my pores feel so clean. Like I said, I'm not someone who feels like toners are super, super necessary, but I will definitely continue to use this in the spring and summertime because it really does help to just open up my pores and allow them to just be like cleansed thoroughly. I'm really, really enjoying this. I have heard people say that this is a little sticky. I don't use too, too much. I just put a little bit on the cotton pad and I kind of just pat it into my skin in certain areas. I don't do it all over. And then I let it dry for maybe one to two minutes and then it's fine. Definitely a staple for me. Let's do serums. So the first serum that I'm going to talk about today is the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. And this is a high strength vitamin mineral blemish form. Formula. This is a product I've started using that I really like. It's supposed to be great for helping to treat blemishes. I think just because I have mask knee right now on top of the already acne that I had, it's just a little challenging for me to see if it's actually effective at that. But what I do notice is that this has controlled my oil production so much. Like I always tell you guys, I have super, super oily skin, especially in the spring and summer because it's so hot and humid here in Atlanta. And this... The first time I had this on my face, I noticed that my face didn't feel overly oily. And I thought that was weird because normally day to day, the longer the day goes on, I get a lot more oily. And so I think for the mere fact that this helps control for me, sebum production, which is oil, it's gonna minimize the amount of oil that's coming through my pores that has the chance to be pushed back in when I'm wearing my mask. So for the mere fact that this helps with oiliness, which can contribute to acne, this is definitely a part of my pore clearing routine. And I can't wait to see if it's effective like after mask me is over, but for right now, I'm really, really enjoying it. Okay, the next product I wanna talk about is one of my favorite golden standard products that I always talk about on my channel. This is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I really love these facial toning pads because it's pretty much a makeup primer and a face retexturizer. This is the single-handedly best product I have ever found for exfoliation. This is what it looks like. It comes with pads that look like this. Usually every morning before I put on makeup for the day, which is not every day, but whenever I do put on makeup, I just use this pad on all areas of my face just to let this exfoliate my skin. This is a physical and chemical exfoliant. The physical exfoliation comes from physically manipulating the pad around your face and it uses glycolic and lactic acids to help exfoliate your face and it just gives you a more even even skin tone it helps to brighten it has lemon peel extract which helps to brighten your skin tone so this is really great for resurfacing your face which in essence is going to be cleansing your pores because they're not getting all built up with sebum and dirt particles and anything that's helping and anything that's getting pushed back into your skin with wearing a mask it's a great exfoliation and it also helps create a nice even canvas for makeup application Moving on from that, the next product that is essential for me in my skincare routine every single spring and summer is this moisturizer. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. So like I said, I have really oily skin. So in the spring and summer, I need a moisturizer that is non-comedogenic, which means it is not going to cause any flare-ups or anything. It's dermatologist tested and it's really, really lightweight. I love this just because it doesn't irritate my skin. So a lot of times people who deal with with congested pores and acne can tend to break out from products that are not dermatologist tested. That's why I love this so much. It's also very lightweight. It doesn't help to control my oil because like I said, no moisturizer that I've ever tried really helps to control my oil, especially throughout the day just because it's so hot and I'm gonna get oily also. But this is a really nice lightweight texture moisturizer. I've used this since I was probably about 13. It's just perfect. Okay, next in my routine would be my sunscreen, and this is the Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Liquid Lotion Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 55. 
found out about this sunscreen probably two years ago and I've been using it ever since. This is my absolute favorite sunscreen for my face that does not break me out as the name suggests. I think wearing sunscreen is the single-handedly best thing you can do for anti-aging. I also think it's great for people like myself who use skin bleaching creams or any ingredients like hydroquinone which help to lighten the pigmentation of your skin. You want to really make sure you're protecting your skin. Also with one of the peels I'm going to show you guys and even the benzoyl peroxide cream I'm also going to show you here today. You really want to make sure that you're protecting your skin when you do go out to the sun. Now, this doesn't have to mean like only when you're out outside for three hours no I mean like anytime you are going out into the sun anytime you're sitting in front of a window anytime you're driving in your car you need a sunscreen it is so important you guys any work that you do in terms of acids or exfoliants or bleaching creams or retinols if you're not using a sunscreen you are literally reversing all that work and you're just wasting money so I love this formula because it doesn't make me break out it also doesn't leave a white cast on my face I don't think zinc is an active ingredient in it. One viewer has told me that this leaves a white cast on her face, but I wanna say if this leaves a white cast on your face, you're probably using too much. I literally use a dime size amount for my entire face and it does not make me look ashy. I have it on today under my foundation. It doesn't cause a flashback in photography. This is my golden standard. I love it, it's about $10 at Target and I will never ever be without it. I need it in my pore case hair routine because it protects my skin overall. Now I'm going to get into a peel and two creams that I use for acne. So the first product I'm going to talk about is the Ordinary's AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. This is a 10 minute exfoliating facial. I am obsessed. One of my friends recommended this to me and she has glowing skin. She looks so youthful. Her skin looks so radiant and smooth and brightened and I'm just like I need your fountain of youth. She told me she used this and I know I had to purchase it. I do want to say the first time I used this it did cause my skin to sting a little bit but I think that's because I use so many products for acne and bleaching such as hydroquinone so you do want to be careful with this and it also is a red liquid on your face so your face will have a red tint. I wasn't ready for that. It looks very weird. You should only leave this on for 10 minutes because it is very strong but I promise you guys my skin felt brand new. Like I felt like I had baby smooth skin. Skin. The reason why I'm including this in my pore clearing cleansing routine is that it resurfaces your skin. So to me anytime you can exfoliate your skin you help to bring up any impurities to the surface and lift them out and get them out of your pores. So doing a chemical peel like this kind of it really just helps to resurface your skin and give you smooth skin and helps to clear your pores. I promise you guys you will love this. I want to say it's like $10 and under and I'm hooked. I use this one to two times a week and it has really been helping me. Okay, the next product is a skincare tool and I'm just going to call this like a skin spatula scrubber. It's by the brand GUGUG. <laughs> I'll link this and all the other products down below but I got this off Amazon. You guys I was so intrigued by this. I saw this type of product in a video maybe a few months ago and I knew I wanted to look it up. I used this for the first time like a week ago. Oh my goodness my pores. I will insert a picture of what it looked like when I was actually using it and maybe I'll insert a clip as well of how you use it but basically you plug this up and it has different modes. It has a cleaning mode, a lifting mode, an ion mode and it's almost really like a pore spatula. You basically press and hold this. It will light up. You choose what mode you want. You press it against your skin and it just helps to really get any impurities that are in your pores. Now when I used it, I didn't have too much gunk on it just because I've been taking really great care of my pores in the past week or so. But if you are struggling with clogged pores, acne, maskne, this is probably the best $25 skincare tool that you are going to find. It literally just helps to push everything out. It's almost like one of the tools that an esthetician would use if you're getting a face. I am hooked. A skin spatula, a pore spatula, your girl is hooked. 
Okay, and the last two products I'm gonna share with you guys today are products for my acne care. So the first product is something that you can actually get from your local drugstore. Well, not your drugstore, but you can get it at your local Target. This is the Up and Up brand Maximum Strength 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Gel, and it's comparative to the Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10. This product is basically Target's version of Clean and Clear's Acne Solution Clearing Gel that uses benzoyl peroxide. This is my favorite over-the-counter acne gel because it really helps to reduce tenderness of cystic acne it helps to reduce inflammation and also the size of your acne or blemish I want to say it's under five dollars I've been purchasing this for probably six or seven years now and when I'm looking for something that's quick and easy that I don't need a prescription for it this is what I go to like I told you guys earlier I'm not really into salicylic acid I just feel like it kind of burns the skin just because when I do get a blemish I have to use a product night after night after night so this is a lot more gentle it also helps to lighten the pigments of wherever you're placing this cream and I can't live without it now when I want something with a little more strength to it I go to my epidural forte and this is 2.5 percent benzoyl peroxide and three tenths of a percent of adapalene this is actually prescription strength so you will have to go to a dermatologist to receive this so this is 10% benzoyl peroxide this is 2.5% but this also has the adapalene in it I don't know what it is about this this product right here is the target brand times like five so whenever I have a really big cystic bump that just will not go away I break out this now this also burns a little bit so when you start using it at first you want to make sure that you're using it gradually like use it in a small area every other day or maybe once every three days and then gradually move your way up to every day because this can sting because it's really really strong this is also something that i use only at night same thing with my target one um, just because these products tend to be really thick and emollient sometimes and I just don't want to wear anything like this under my makeup but this is a golden standard and it's really been helping me right now with my mask me and my traditional acne and it just helps to get my skin as much back to normal as it can be so guys, those are all the products that I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed my pore clearing routine. Um, these are literally products that have been helping me so much. And I just want to thank all you guys for your recommendations and my friends. Just because I have never really dealt with clogged pores. Not until I had to wear a mask. So having to switch up my routine has kind of been a trial and error thing. But these products here have really, really helped me get more control over my skin. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!